Hey guys, Jessica Beck here with another edition of IELTS Energy TV. As I promised in the last video, we are looking at more idioms today. Um, so last time we talked about idioms for describing your school experience, and today we're going to talk about idioms for your work experience. Okay, let's get to it. So the first phrase that we use is work hard, play hard. <laughs> I think this is kind of cheesy personally, but I I have said it, I've been guilty of saying it, and I know a lot of native speakers that say this. So this means that like, um, you work hard, right? You put all of your energy and focus into work, but in your free time, you also enjoy yourself. You also do a lot of stuff in your free time. Um, so this is, you know, like work-life balance. But I wouldn't say play hard is like relaxing, right? Play hard is like going rock climbing and hiking and, you know, being super active in your free time. So if that describes you, you can use this idiom. The next, um, live to work or work to live. Um, so you could, uh, you could use this on the IELTS exam if you're talking again, about work-life balance. So you could say, um, like, how do people achieve a work-life balance? That could be a speaking part three question, a writing task two. You could say, well, it comes down to this. Do you work to live or do you live to work? So you guys get what this means. If you live to work, then like your life is all about work. That's your number one priority. But if you work to live, that means work is not a priority. You just go and do your job. And what you really care about is your life outside of work. Now, um, neither of these describe m me, right? Because uh, both things are very important to me. <laughs> but this might describe some people. I have had jobs in the past where it was just work to live, like in a working in a coffee shop or whatever. So, okay, there's that. Um, okay, so another uh, phrase we could use along those lines, uh, if you're describing the way you feel about your job, maybe it's not it's not the job of your dreams, right? Like it's not your career. Um, it's just it's just a stepping stone. It's just a way to make money. You could say, look, I just put in my time, and that's it. I just put in my time. Okay, so that's a job that's, you know, you don't really care about, it's not your career. Um, another thing you can do if, it, say, sorry, not do, if your job is kind of intense, you know, like it's like you're a doctor or I don't know, you have a really intense job, you have to make sure to leave it at the office. That's the phrase, leave it at the office. That means that um, it is intense and you do care and work a lot, but you don't let it, you don't bring it home with you. You don't allow it to eat up time outside of work with like worries or stress or even doing work at home. No, leave it at the office. <laughs> okay, these are all phrases that are very contemporary. We native speakers, we use these all the time right now. And you know what? A lot of other students, I would say most other students are not going to know these and they're not going to use them. That means that you will stand out if you use these, you will get a seven or higher for vocab, okay? But remember, it's not just about vocab, you need strategies, you need to know what the examiner wants, and that takes more time, that's what our course is for. So, if you're interested in raising your score in all aspects, in all sections of the exam, you can go to allearsenglish.com forward slash K-E-Y-S. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching today, have a beautiful, beautiful day, and I will see you next time.